Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I want to apologize that I'm going to sound a little raspy in this video just because I am recovering from a cold, but hopefully you can overlook that because I really wanted to get this video out to you. I actually drew this quail a little while ago. I believe this is actually done as part of my Patreon rewards back in March. I did a little bit of a California animal and plant themed package for those patrons that get mailed rewards to them. And so obviously the quail is something that I really wanted to focus on. Plus there's just a lot of really fun shapes and lines that went into this fun little art print that I made. And when I sat down to paint it, I wanted to break out some supplies that I haven't used in a little while. And at the time, that was my Liquid Watercolors by Dr. P.H. Martin. Some of you may know that this year I have been trying a sort of no spend on art supply kind of challenge. I don't know if it's much of a challenge, but really more so I wanted to focus on using art supplies that I already own since I am very blessed to have quite a large collection of art supplies that I have collected over the years and really want to get use out of what I have instead of getting distracted by new and fun things that are out on the market. Right as I started getting my paints ready, I realized that in my window I had set up a little light fast test to test out these paints. This was dated March 2018, so by the time I was painting this, it was probably about or just over a year of these being taped to my window with pretty full sunlight most of the time. As you can see, the only color that was really drastically changed by the light was the deep red rose color. The more pastel colors on the right are ones that I had mixed up to just sort of test out as well, and I believe the ones that are most faded are the ones that included this same red rose color, and so I think that was really the only one that was really negatively affected by the sunlight. Looking back at the footage, I actually will say that only other color that was changed just a little bit with the sunlight is the Venetian brown. It does seem like the red that is mixed in to create this pigment did stay fairly vibrant being blocked by the sun and the rest of the brown is a less warm brown. So I do think that it's probably the same pigment as used in the red rose that is used in the Venetian brown or something very similar that is not quite as light fast. That being said, every other color in this set I cannot see a definitive change in the colors fading. Um, I had created a bit of a gradient so that there was dark to light. So that was how I painted my swatches. And then I had taped over a solid piece of cardstock to really block out the light, which is that line that you can see over that deep red rose. So. Needless to say, I am pretty impressed by these watercolors calling themselves Light Fast Archival on the bottles. I honestly wanted to look into this because I had had these paints for a little while because I had seen other artists using them and I was really curious. I was able to get them on sale at a local art store and so I dove in because these are fairly expensive, so for the price, I am not surprised that they at least claim to be lightfast and archival, but because of how vibrant these colors are, I just had a really hard time believing that they really would not fade in sunlight, especially direct sunlight. And so that was when I did my swatches, threw them up in the window, and then promptly forgot them for just over a year. <laughs> 
But I am excited that I got quite a long light fast test done kind of inadvertently to be able to share this with you guys and just happened to be using them for this painting and realized it was a perfect time to sort of do an update there and share my findings with you. So aside from again that red rose, a deep red rose color, every other color in this particular set that I have of the hydrus watercolors. Now these are different than the radiant line. As far as I'm aware, the radiant line of concentrated watercolor by Dr. Paige Martins is a brighter but more fugitive watercolor. That means that they will fade in the sunlight pretty quickly and are not meant to be archival or light fast like the hydrus is. Uh, but they are just intended for different kind of artists and different kind of art making. I have not tried any of the Radiant ones since the Hydrus was what I could find in my local store at the time, but I am interested in trying them in the future, especially if they are even brighter than these watercolors, the Hydrus that is Lightfast. I would be interested in trying the even brighter ones because I do really love bright colors in my artwork. And since a lot of the work I do ends up being reproduced as prints or other products, as long as I can get a really good reproduction of the painting I've done, I am able to lock in those bright colors to reproduce that art. As I'm adding these last details with some metallic watercolors and inks for lining, I want to pose the question to you, those of you that are watercolorists, do you always go for the light fast option or because you reproduce your work in other ways, do you tend to not care about that as much because you might not be selling the originals. I'm just curious to know more about that because I know when I was learning about pigments and dyes and watercolors in general that light fastness was always sort of the top tier thing and it seemed like things that were not light fast were not as valued, but I also see there are lots of artists here on YouTube that use markers and other art supplies pretty regularly that are quite fugitive to sunlight. And so I wonder what many of you think about this and how much you care about light fastness in your art supplies. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed me diving into this topic and showing you my findings of these Hydrus watercolors. As always, I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day and I'll see you next time. Bye.